guys what's up welcome back to the channel so today we are doing an exciting video I'm actually really excited about today's video because we're doing a thrift flip I haven't done a thrift flip on this channel ever I don't think and if you guys don't know what a thrift flip is it's literally when you go to the thrift store get a few items and then flip them like turn them into something modern and cute and more your style we are going to be doing three pieces i wanted to i have so many more thrift flip videos planned so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more thrift flip videos because like i said i do have more planned and i'm really excited about the next one so definitely give this video a thumbs up so i can do the next one don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here Turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time I upload, which is every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so first up guys, we're going to take this polka dot button up shirt and make it into this off the shoulder top. You're going to need some scissors, a ruler, and a colored pencil. So actually, you really don't need that right now. And I'm going to explain why. So originally, I wanted to make this a square neckline with puffer sleeves, really cute blouse that I've been seeing, like obsessed with one like this from Fashion Nova. That's what I was intentionally going from, but because of the type of material that this is and just the way that it ended up looking after I made it like that I really didn't like it so you can follow this outline and do it if you want a square neckline just do these steps that's why I left it in here but like I said the type of material we're just gonna make this an off the shoulder top and keep it going that's all we're gonna do okay so um right here I'm just measuring out because like I said I wanted it to be a square neckline and I measured an inch from the sleeve and I went down uh, halfway between the first two buttons and then I cut that out now um, I initially left the front the back on and then I went back in and took the back out so if you're watching this now then you can go ahead and cut the back part out as well you don't need the back part I just left it on because I thought the shirt would look better with the back but I was wrong so I would say go ahead and cut the back part out but I will show you guys that later and then I wanted to go ahead and add some elastic to the sleeves so what I did was I used my seam ripper and I just ripped out where the um, hem was attached on here and I just made like an opening to stick the elastic through and all I'm really just doing is using my seam ripper to get it open that's pretty much all I did um to open this up and then I slid the elastic through so pretty much for the elastic all you want to do is add a safety pin to the one end of it and then uh just push it through the hole that's all you have to do push it through the hole and you're gonna see it start scrunching up and just keep pulling and keep pulling you're putting the safety pin there so you have something to grip hold to with the elastic that's the point of it um you can pin down the other end so you won't get it lost but mine was pretty long so i didn't have to pin mine down uh and then you just want to make sure that you have the right arm measurements right here because you don't want it to be too tight on your arm so make sure you have enough to where your arm won't be too tight where it won't be too tight on your arm or anything like that but just keep pushing this it gets to the other side and once it gets to the other end you can actually just cut off the excess parts sew up the elastic and then close up the opening so like I said I want to go back and cut off the back parts so I did show you guys me doing that there and like I said, you could have just did this in the beginning, but I didn't. So, yeah. I went ahead and added a hem to this whole top line. And then, instead of making it the top that I wanted, I went ahead and added elastic around the whole top inside of that hem that I made. And uh, made it an off the shoulder top. That's pretty much all I did. So, it was super cute. Super, super cute. Uh, beforehand but I think it's cuter off the shoulder what do you guys think I don't know but I really like it and yeah that is the first thrift flip okay so this next thrift flip we are going from grandma goodwill to reformation modern day honey yes 
I'm so happy with the way this one came out. So I really did like this dress beforehand. It just reminded me of those old mommy dresser Ultra dresses. Like this just what reminds me of. So what I'm gonna do here is just cut off each sleeve and then right there I'm just gonna cut straight across where my finger was at where the two lines meet at right there at the sleeve. I'm cutting straight across. And you don't wanna throw away your uh, pieces that you cut off because you're gonna need those but like I said cut off the sleeves cut straight across and this is what you're gonna be have left so you're gonna turn it inside out and then go ahead and add a hem so you want to you really just want to make sure you have a hem because you don't want because I cut it kind of cricket you know and you just want it to look good so just go ahead and add a small hem here and my sewing machine actually stopped working I don't know exactly what happened to it um, I'm not that great of a sewer, so it probably is still working. I probably just don't know what I'm doing. But um, it actually did not work. It stopped working for some reason. I don't know what happened. I started getting irritated, but I went ahead and I hand sewed the hem. Just went ahead and folded it down and just went and hand sewed it, which actually did not take as long as I thought it was. So, yeah, um, I ended up doing that all the way around. And like I said, you didn't want to throw away the excess fabric because you was going to need that. So we're going to take the sleeve actually and remove the hem from it where the sleeve is rounded at. You just want to make sure it's straight and then cut off the excess fabric and you're going to take the thicker part of it. And well, it depends on how thick you want your sleeves. I just took the thicker part and made that my sleeves. I went ahead and put on the dress and kind of measured where I wanted the sleeves to go. It's still inside out, so make sure you do that inside out. And then pinned it down and then went back in and sewed it where I pinned it at. Alright, and then I like these buttons, but I wanted brown buttons because, like I said, I wanted it to look like a reformation dress. So, I wanted to add brown buttons. So, I got these buttons from Walmart and they have two different sizes in it. So, I just got seven of the biggest ones out of this pack and used those. And then I'm using my seam ripper to remove the buttons, like where the buttons were sewed in it. And I just went ahead and went down and did it for all seven of the buttons now these buttons are beautiful so i probably will use them for something else but i just didn't want them on this dress so i just went ahead and switched them out and i just added the brown buttons and i mean it's pretty much self-explanatory i just went in and used you know went through the holes <laughs> that's all i did and just made sure it was in there now i'm using the same color thread it's the dress because i like the way that looked but if you didn't want like that color to be on your buttons then you can use brown or something like that but i thought it turned out really cute And once you're done, this is what the dress is going to be looking like. I think it's so cute. Like, it's just giving me, like, such reformation vibes. And I love it. And I love the brown buttons and just the mint color. It's showing up a little... Is that seafoam green that I'm seeing? I don't know. But it's actually mint green. Actually, In person, it's mint green. So I really like the colors of it. I love the way the buttons look on it. And I just love everything about it. So, yeah. And on me, it does seem a little big in the chest area. So when I before I wear it, I probably will take it in a little bit more in the boob area. But so far, it looks pretty good. And I like it. So, yeah. Alright, and then the next thrift flip is actually super easy. All I did was add elastic and made these into like jogger style pants because I've been wanting a pair of cute cargo pants like this, but I could never find a pair that had like the scrunched up bottom the way that I like them. So I got these for a dollar from the thrift store. Actually, all of the stuff that I redid was a dollar from the thrift store. And I just made it. So I measured out the elastic on my ankle like where I wanted it to be and cut off the excess part got my sim ripper and uh, just like I did with the sleeve earlier and went in and made an opening added the elastic through the bottom again with the safety pin the same way I did before just kind of push it through keep pushing until you get to the other end now as you guys will see there's another opening at the other end and you just kind of want to go through 
and some some of them it was weird because what one, one pair it just slid right through but the other pair is like sewed together right there so i don't know but it depends on how your pants are made you may have to go in and reopen that bottom part right there when you get to that side but like i said i had to do that at one leg and then one leg at the end so i don't know what that was but yeah uh just keep going till you get to the other side then remove the safety pins sew up the elastic together and then sew up your clothing And then you have your jogger pants. And then, of course, I was really inspired by a pair that I seen in Target. If you guys saw my Target come shop with me video, you know which ones I'm talking about. And they had a really cute black chain on them, so I was really inspired by it. So I just went ahead and added that. And it's super cute. So what I did was I got this chain from Walmart, and then I added like a key keychain to the actual pants pocket on the front and the back, and then clip the chain to the keychain. That's all I really did there. And there you have it, super cute pants. I mean, they're already cute beforehand, but I just think they look so cuter now because like, I mean, look at them, you know? Like before they look like boy pants and now they look like chic girl pants. So I like it, I do. So yeah. Alright guys, so that is the completed video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this thrift flip video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time I upload. And yeah, I think that is about it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.